Hello everyone. Today in this video we are going to see what is localization testing. Localization is nothing but an app which supports multilingual or multi languages is called as localization. So let us understand what is localization testing is. Localization testing is a technique to verify software behavior, accuracy, suitability for specific locations and regions. Suppose if you are using app Amazon, at that time you will be able to select different language and you will be able to search or else you will be able to browse through the uh, Amazon using your own specific language considering India which is having multiple languages in each of the state. In that case we can choose the language which we know and we can browse through the app. This is what localization is based on the specific region this app will be built uh, or the that is how you can interact with the application. This could be anything from a particular city to an entire country. The method tests how the software will behave when used in different areas. So the same app will support different languages and the UI looks same apart from only the language that you see. And as per that particular uh, region's culture, the you will be able to see the uh, information. Okay. Localization testing intends to test globally operating software to provide linguistic and cultural relevance for different parts of the world. Not only in India, in other countries, okay, they do speak different languages, right? So that also will be considered based on how globally they are, how globally they are expanding the application. Suppose if you are using, uh, considering India, if you are using Hindi language, so all the functionality will remain the same. Only the UI aspect will differ. Okay. And uh, in the similar way, the localization testing will be done based on the particular region. Right. So only the people who know about it can test this. Correct. So this is what the localization testing refers to. It is meant to customize a website or app according to the targeted language, region, audience preferences and area based regulations. Okay. We will be able to customize the website or the app. Correct. So based on that, we can uh, use the app. By doing this, what happens is the people will be able to uh, easily use the application, one application. Okay, and uh, with this, we actually can check the content, UI, functionality, and how usable it is to the user at multiple locations. All these aspects will be considered while performing the localization testing. And this will make sure the how the website is behaving in different regions, right? Okay, and uh, the purpose of doing localization testing is to check appropriate linguistic and cultural aspect for a particular local. So by using this, we'll be able to confirm it whether, uh, oh, but not everyone. Suppose if I know some different language, I'll not be able to perform localization testing, right? The only specific uh, person can perform the localization testing. It includes a change in user interface or even initial settings according to the requirement. Okay, my app is like global app. So uh, it requires little settings. It is based on the how the application or requirement is built upon. So let us see an example of uh, how localization testing is. So right now I'm on Amazon.in. So here you can see that my language is by default set to English. Here I have option to change it. Suppose if I want Hindi, I can select Hindi and then if I click on save changes, all the content, everything will be displayed in Hindi language. This is one major consideration with aspect to the localization testing. In Karnataka, you can select Karnada and if you are in uh, Telangana, you can select Telugu, okay, Andhra. So it, it depends on particular region.
it is completely based on the uh, language that we can use right yes so let us also see what are the things that you have to consider while you perform the localization testing so one thing is time and date is properly displayed for the targeted region if i'm in india the time and date should be with respect to my time if i am in us or uk the time i should uh, see is with respect to that particular country phone number formats are proper to target region uh, so phone numbers also may vary and uh, there is, there is a default code that has been provided to each of the country so that also should be same and that also uh, will be come under localization testing currency for the target region if i am using amazon in india i must see the price in rupees i should not be uh, seeing it in dollars right so that is one type of localization testing while doing you have to consider validation message for input fields suppose if there are any validation errors that occurs uh, as since i have selected the language which is related to my particular region i have to see the uh, error message even with respect to that particular language so all these aspe aspects should be considered while performing the localization testing so this is all about the localization testing if you have liked the video please do like it share it don't forget to subscribe to the channel thank you for watching bye bye